Hey broadcasters, it's Jeremy and we are going through our SRT basics series with another video. This is the last of our contributor settings. Today, we are going to cover our video and audio stream settings in one swoop. We've already covered IP address, port number, latency and security, so check back on our other videos if you wanna learn more about those. Let's start with our preferred video resolution. It should ideally match both your contributor and program resolutions. I'm going to set 1080p. Keep in mind that when you open up the Rivet app on your contributor device, the resolution might be overridden. For example, if you select 1080p in the dashboard, but you're streaming a webcam on a MacBook, well, that webcam's only gonna put out 720p anyway, so it will select 720p in Rivet. Luckily for you, this is why Rivet supports external capture cards. Additionally, Rivet will take interlay signals on a PC or Mac if your capture card supports it, but we do recommend using Progressive if possible, but the option is there. Next, we are going to choose our preferred audio bit rate. I'm going to do 192 kilobits per second. Try higher if you're doing music heavy content. SRT uses AAC audio, so this will send a 192 kilohertz AAC audio stream embedded with the video stream. Now we are going to choose our preferred video bitrate. First, you'll want to check your upload speed with an internet speed test and make sure you can handle whatever you pick. Give yourself headroom in case your speed tips, and as always, hardwire your Rivet device with an ethernet cable for the best results. You can even do this on an iPhone or Android device. Not a lot of people know that. Just get an ethernet dongle for your device. Keep in mind that you can type in whatever you want in this field, but we give you some useful presets. 2.5 megabits per second is a good quality of 720p footage. 5 megabits per second is for great quality 720p footage or good quality 1080p. And 10 megabits per second is for great quality 1080p footage. Again, only do this if your network can handle it, but I know that mine can. Now, if you see visual errors in your video signal once you're watching at the decoder, start by lowering your video bit rate. Blips in your network can cause temporary issues there, but if that doesn't work, consider increasing your SRT latency. We didn't talk about that too much, but increasing your SRT latency also has some effect on the video signal when there are errors. It gives the encoder and decoder more time to error correct. These settings are what makes SRT and Ribbit so nice to use because we get full control over a video signal so it matches the rest of our program. And at this point, you are ready to send your contribution feed. If you aren't sending a program feed, you can uncheck this here and you're ready to get your stream going. We'll cover the program feed soon. As always, we invite you to join our Rivet Slack channel, which is linked in the description, and please leave a like if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.